Well, if you could think of a service technician working at, on a bench, uh, repairing equipment that comes in, I do the same thing, except I don't do it at my factory, I do it at your factory. So I go on site, out in the field, if you will, and I work at the factory repairing the equipment in the case of bunting metal detection and making sure that you're detecting the metal that might be present in your supply chain. Let's say in the production of beef, um, especially ground beef, there would be an occasion to use stainless steel grinders to grind that beef down into the patties that we normally see. And there's an opportunity for stainless steel to be introduced into that ground beef patty. So what we do is we run that patty through a metal detector and if there's metal present, it is detected. The uh, customer can take that uh, contaminated patty out, but they can also be alerted that there may be a problem with their grinding uh, material, so they will go in and um, repair that and continue production. Once I get the detector set up and working, let's say we go in uh, to a startup and commissioning for brand new equipment. Uh, I'll start up the equipment and make sure it's working correctly and then I invite the customer to bring in their operators and I uh, train the operators in an operation level of the metal detector uh, how to uh, make sure it's working correctly, how to challenge it with uh, metal test standards, how to run the product through and then I will go um, teach the maintenance staff the same thing except I will go more in depth in how to make adjustments on the metal detector to make sure it's working correctly, how to learn products so that the metal detector can distinguish between um, product and actual uh, metal, and that way we can run the product through. Some products mimic metal, and we can teach the metal detector that this is product going through, it's not metal, and then when metal actually does go through with that product, it will reject that product. Well, let's say that you've contacted a sales professional and uh, with bunting and you're interested in metal detection. One of the things they're going to ask you is for sample materials. And what we do with those sample materials is we test those in our lab and we make recommendations back to you as to the size metal detector that you may need and the type of sensitivities that you can expect. And then um, once we make those determinations, then we can design a system, a uh, conveyor system or a free fall system, depending on the type of product that you need to, to run. And uh, then we can ma uh, marry all that with metal detection and produce a uh, metal detector that will run your product and get that metal or separate out the product that may have metal in it. Number one is the equipment that you're going to separate out metal from your product stream, is it easy to operate? And with the bunting equipment, the answer is yes. It is very easy to operate. And the second part of that is, is there somebody there that can help you understand how to operate that equipment correctly and can they repair it in the unlikely event that you would have a failure? And the answer to that one is also yes. We have a great service department. We do more than just service. We also train and we make sure that that equipment is working to its optimal.